Are you serious? A great cup of coffee to start today. I hope you're doing great. You know something? I was thinking about what the Bible says in Genesis chapter 2 when it says, Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. And on the seventh day, God ended his work, which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work, which he had made. When you think about all of his work that he made, someone said, well, I mean, he just kind of zipped everything out and it was done. I don't think you understand the vastness and the awesomeness of God's tremendous creation. And we're just barely getting a glimpse of it. Now, NASA made a major announcement yesterday that they found another Earth-like planet. It's 1,400 light years away but it's an Earth-like planet that does orbit a sun just like we do. This is only, this is Earth point, uh, 2.0, they're saying. Uh, NASA's astronomers announced that they had found this Earth-like planet 1,400 light years away. The newly discovered Kepler 452b uh, orbits a star from what is called the habitable zone, the distance at which water, and this is amazing really when you think about it, it's the distance at which water can pool on the surface of a planet. Now other planets such as the Kepler 186f have been discovered in this sweet Goldilocks spot that is neither too close nor too far to potentially sustain life. But the Kepler 452b is different because it circles a G2 type star just like our sun. There's really one place that we know that has life in the universe, and that is Earth. So finding another planet around a star that's very similar to our sun is quite exciting, says NASA's astronomer Jeff Coughlin in an interview with Yahoo News. The scientists are not necessarily saying that other types of stars, such as an M dwarfs, cannot sustain life, but there are many unknown factors about what sort of role they would play in creating or preventing it. Kepler 452b is roughly 60% larger in diameter than Earth, but still has a good chance of being rocky like Earth rather than spacious like Neptune or Jupiter. The Kepler spacecraft was launched in 2009 to collect and transmit data on potential Earth-like planets. Coughlin, a Kepler scientist at the SET or Institute in Mountain View, California, explained that the signs of periodic dimming and brightening are the first clues of a potential planet. The second step is to really delve into deep to the Kepler data itself. Take a reality, really hard look and rule out all the po other possibilities of what could be causing the signal. So basically they have found a planet that has similar characteristics as Earth and because it circles or orbits a sun so, uh, you know, so the, could God have done it? Well, of course God did it. God could have 10 more of those. Thousands of light years further out. I mean, God's unlimited. And when he was finished, he took a rest the seventh day. Now he's focused on his grand plan, mankind, who he made in his image and in his likeness and gave us an ability to choose our own destiny. He let go and said, if you, ch because there's not one star in the heavens, there's not one planet in all the universes that God say, now you do what you wanna do. You can drift if you want to, you wanna break the laws of gravity, you can do what you wanna do. God never gave the animal kingdom full reign, you do what you want to do. Only mankind did he give dominion and a free will to choose 
God let go and said, you know what? You can love me. I still love you, but you can love me or you can hate me. You can follow me or you can follow the enemy. But I'm going to let you choose. And because of that, folks, you're standing in the greatest spot in the whole world, the whole universe. You get to choose which way you want to go. Your destiny is in your hand. You can call upon the Lord Jesus Christ. Or you can wait for NASA to find you another planet to go live on. You can walk in the joys of the Lord. Or you can follow the road to destruction. Now, don't do that. Jesus loves you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Christ died for you and me. Choose life be blessed.